I don't really have anybody in my family who is a physician, so I was the first uh, physician in my family. And so during medical school, I, um, when I became exposed to neurology, um, I met a physician who inspired me uh, a lot. And uh, her name is Patricia Campos. She's a, she was, she's a pediatric neurologist, and uh, she explained how the nervous system works. She explained how your human body reacts to certain things that happen in your brain or in your, in your nerves in general, uh, caught my attention. And I became more interested. I read more about neurology and I found that to be fascinating. And why did I decided to go into epilepsy? Because epilepsy is one of, is the most common neurological disease where I'm from, Peru. Likely because of a parasite or trauma, lack of adequate perinatal care and that's what made me go into epilepsy. And, you know, when I came to London in 2004, I um, was interested in doing more imaging, but then I started doing more epidemiological research, and then I found very interesting uh, the disparities that we have in epilepsy care uh, in Canada. And I joined Carter Sneed with uh, his provincial initiative to improve epilepsy care in the province. And, and I found that we were successful in lobbying uh, for more beds, more personal, more budget. And the fact that it would be important to share the knowledge with those who are in the front line, like the primary care providers or the, or the internists or the pediatricians. And uh, what better opportunity than ECHO in which we will be provide education to those individuals with cases basically, which is, I think, is the most interesting part of ECHO. It was very helpful. There were recommendations made as to what investigations I could do and what changes I could make to her medication. Uh, just last month, he had another seizure. But I would treat this gentleman and I think we could come up with a, a nice set of options for you too. Epilepsy is not just one disease in which we can just go ahead and treat it the same way for everybody. Everybody has different problems. I think see, having seizures is just one part of the problem. And sometimes in order to control the seizures, which is at the end the ultimate goal, you need to focus on the mental health and the social issues that may be related. So you have to consider many things, not just treat uh, the patient with medications and that's it. ECHO is an example in which you will be providing education, but at the same time you provide clinical care because you are um, discussing a real life case that one of the providers bring to the session. Um, but at the same time you are educating them which is quite similar to what we do on a daily basis with our residents, our, all the different types of trainees. The beauty of ECHO is that we approach it in different, at different levels, from the medical one, you know, what medication, this patient has this diagnosis, to the psychological one, because we always have a neuropsychologist or a clinical psychologist attending, providing feedback on the mental health of the patient, to the community, to the uh, community agency telling you, oh yeah, we have these resources or this place has these resources and you should send that patient to, to, this, uh, to this place for that. So it's uh, different levels, uh, different uh, ways to approach it, not just the medical one, which is, oh yeah, prescribe this and see you in three months. Each patient is different and you have to treat them with not only a lot of respect, but mainly trying to identify what are the most important needs they have and try to tackle them.